afternoon. Welcome to Higher Place Church. We are Angelo and Veronica. It's really an honor to be with you today and um, to be in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and we'll be glad yeah. in it. That's right. No matter what we see, we'll no matter sad. what we feel, <laughs> yeah. you know what? We, yeah. we, we, we cast our feelings aside and we just trust in the Lord with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways we acknowledge him, and he will direct our path, and he will direct your path. He will bring you to the proper place where you need to be in your spirituality with Christ Jesus. So we're excited to be with you. This is a yeah. continuing message, Veronica. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, you look beautiful. I didn't beautiful, know we were going to do a part two. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And, and people don't realize this. This week is a special week for you and I. I know. I almost We've been forgot. married, what, five years? <laughs> <laughs> a little longer than that. Yeah, yeah a little longer. Yeah. But it's all good. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. You know, yeah. you, know, you, know, you know what I was talking about? 32 years. 32 years. I was, years I was telling somebody at work that what makes things work in a marriage is communication. Right, right. That's it. Yeah. Learning how to, yeah. Learning to give how and to take. Know. How to fight fair. Right. Well, that, that <laughs> and the fact that, you know, it's yeah. not always my way. Even though I am the head of the household, it's not always my way. Yeah. And it can't be my way. You know, it's, it's got to be an it equal has to share. Be God's way. Bingo. That's what it's got to be. I am so excited for this new music that's yeah. coming yeah. this year. I promise you, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for the, 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 the heart of man to... To the, that God put in your heart to give to this ministry. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for doing that for Angela yes. and Veronica. Yes. yes. It, you, you have no yes. idea. Yes. Hey, Jezebel, part two. Didn't know there was going to be a part two, but the Lord was just, just kept on showing me about this. And someone asked a good question. Somebody said, well, can't, you know, because we think of Jezebel as a spirit. And that's what we've mm -hmm. always been told. Mm -hmm. um, he, and they said, can't Jezebel be a doctrine and a spirit? Mm. But according to Revelation 2, uh, 24, it says, but unto you and unto the rest in Theatira, as many as, as have not this doctrine, and it's specifically mm. talking about Jezebel, yeah. which have not known the depths of Satan. Yeah. Okay, so Revelation 2 is talking, uh, is saying Jezebel, Jesus is saying Jezebel is a doctrine. But now Jezebel is a doctrine of devils, okay? So First uh, Timothy 4, 1 Timothy 4.1, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirit, spirits and doctrines of devils, plural. plural. In yeah. other words, Jezebel is not one spirit. Mm -hmm. not one, it's not just one spirit. There are many spirits at work. 2 Kings 9.22, what peace so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many. So again, plural, whoredoms and witchcrafts. Many, there's many forms of witchcrafts. Therefore, there are many demons mm. or devils at work within witchcraft. And there is actually a spirit of whoredoms in Hosea 5, 4, it mm -hmm. says spirit of whoredom. So mm -hmm. Jezebel is not just one spirit. Many, it is a doctrine with many spirits attached to it and working and operating through that Jezebel doctrine. Yeah, and Veronica, you know, I want to be mm. transparent, you know, because people think that pastors, singers, musicians, Christians don't have any issues. They don't deal with any problems, oh, wow. you know, yeah. like we're problemless, you know, and that, you know, what I'm saying is we, we, we don't have this, uh, sense of, of, yeah. of, yeah. Yeah. of problems in our own personal lives and life is a challenge and life will present to you different challenges and life will bring some storms in and they'll, and, they, and, and people, you know, again, we, we, we want to be transparent because somebody else is going through what we're going through. You're not alone by going through the things that you go through. You're not the first. Right. You will not be the last. Now, how you deal with those things 
is understanding Jezebel. Yeah, Jezebel specifically goes after the children there we you talked go. about. Specifically goes after God's children. Right. And speci- and even more specifically goes after the true prophets of God. So yeah, Jezebel, it w- it w- it, we got to be prepared. So Jezebel doctrine mm. contains part two, guys. So number one, <clears throat> or this would be number four or four? whatever. No, so number, but we'll just make it number one. one. Okay. Jezebel is an oppressor. Okay, so the Jezebel, do- guys, we're not talking about okay. any person, any, uh, right. I think I think women especially get very um, hurt by this topic. And I, I and ladies, I please, we're d- we're dealing with this mm-hmm. as um, as a doctrine today. Okay, so we're not talking about a woman. We're not even talking about a man. We're not even talking about people today. We're talking about the doctrine that is the thinking, the methodical teaching. Yeah. Okay. Because doctrine means <coughs> instruction or teaching that is behind all of this. So please, ladies especially, do, do not, don't be offended with this, okay? So number one, Jezebel, doctrine is an oppressor, mm. a taskmaster, okay? Bingo. The Jezebel doctrine will put you under the law and under a heavy burden. Mm-hmm. We're going to show you this in the word. Revelation 2.24, as many ha- as not have this doctrine, this Jezebel doctrine, which have not known the depths of Satan. Jezebel doctrine is the depths of Satan. Doesn't get any lower, okay? As they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. In other words, people who are under the Jezebel teaching or doctrine are under a heavy burden because wow. Jezebel is an oppressor. She's a task master. Okay. So you do all the hard work and sacrifice and Mm -hmm. she's the one who benefits off of your hard labor. Right. Okay. Jezebel is the greatest (sighs) example of abuse of power. power. The power struggle there. Judges 10, 12. The Zidonians mm. also, and the Amalekites, um, um, Amalekites, and the Mayonites did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. So what's important <laughs> to on. know here is that Jezebel was a Zidonian, mm. and the Zidonians were oppressive to God's people. So uh, Matthew 20, 23, 4. For they oh. bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. You know mm. how like when you have something on your shoulder oh, wait. and yeah. y- you feel like you're going to break, okay? Yeah. yeah, But they, it says, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. This is Jesus speaking about mm. the Pharisees. Now, Pharisees are sons of of Jezebel. Hello. Because Jesus said, ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Mm -hmm. That's Matthew 23, 31. He said, ye are the children of them that killed the prophets. (laughs) So therefore, Pharisees are descendants or sons of Jezebel. Number two, Jezebel doctrine. Jezebel stirs you up. Mm. Mm-hmm. Jezebel stirs it up. So now this is the way that now let me just give you the strong concordance uh, definition of stir up means to incite, to seduce, to entice, to persuade, mm-hmm. to provoke, to allure, to lure, mm-hmm. to instigate in a bad sense. Okay, so wow. so Jezebel stirs up, which means. She does anything and everything a person does to get their own way, but not God's way, okay? And uh, she uses intimidation and manipulation Mm. for domination. Um, Intimidation and or manipulation Mm. for the goal of domination, Mm -hmm. okay? So that is... Very good. Very good definition for witchcraft. So now 1 Kings 21, 25. 
But there was none, there was none like unto Ahab, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel, his wife, stirred up. Right, so Jezebel stirred mm. up Ahab. Mm -hmm. And Ahab, as a result, mm. sold himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord like nobody did, mm -hmm. like no other king did. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, you know, a woman can, can do that can stir oh, up yeah. a man. Oh, absolutely. You know? Women have, I mean, men have tremendous uh, power and authority, well, we but have, women we, have a good deal well, of we have different power strengths. and authority as we have well. We have different strengths than mm -hmm. women. Right. Physical more than mental. Right. And, mm -hmm. and But Jezebel usurped her husband's authority and even lorded it over him, mm -hmm. you know? So let's go on. Um, oh, gosh. This guy's... This is so good. Number three, okay, of the Jezebel doctrine. Not mm. talking about the woman, but I mean, we are, but we're talking about the doctrine, the teaching of it. So number three, Jezebel builds you up to take you down. Mm. This is in incredibly important. Yeah. This is a specific story in 1 Kings um, Jezebel plots to murder Naboth because her husband, the king Ahab, wanted Naboth's vineyard for his own. <laughs> he took a look at this vineyard that was near his house, and mm. he was like, I want this. I well, want he's this. the king. Yeah, he's, he was the king. So Jezebel, oh, but, but Naboth said, no, no, I can't, I can't give this to you. God says, this is my inheritance. And I cannot give it away. So this is, this is spiritually significant as well. Because Jezebel wants to take our inheritance in Christ. Mm. He wants to take our inheritance. He wants to take our soul. So Jezebel is a murderer. And this is the way she did it. So let's read here 1 Kings 21, 8 through 10. So she, Jezebel, wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal and sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles that were in his city dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote in the letters saying, proclaim a fast and set Naboth on high among the people. Set him on high among the people. And, and set two men, sons of Belial, okay, or I think it's that Belial means worthless, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him in order to, in other words, to lie about him. Saying, thou didst blaspheme God and the king and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. So Jezebel carried out this plan. She mm. She accuses, she sets him on high mm -hmm. in order to trick him, okay? And then she sends in two men to lie about him and say that he blasphemed God and the king and it was untrue. And think of, look at the cor correlation between Jezebel and the devil. Because who is the right. accuser? Yeah. She's an accuser. Accuser, yeah. Of, of the brethren, God's people. Of God's people. Yeah, she is. That's right. That's right. So, th so Jezebel is a murderer, <laughs> okay? And this is the way that she did it. She built him up and said, oh, we're going to have a, 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 a celebration in your honor, mm -hmm. you know? And it was all a, plat a plot, a plan to take him down and to murder him. I Correct. mean, so wicked. Right. So, so wicked. So, guys, be careful of flattery. We have to be careful. We have to know the difference between flattery and genuine compliments. We got to know the difference, okay? Because those who set you on high could be setting you up for a fall. Yeah, those flattering yeah. lips. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is why celebrityism. Or wow. anybody lifted up in society, wow. okay? Wow. I mean, especially um, uh, preachers and mm. especially Christian, especially Christians, because they're eventually 
going to fall because it's a setup. Yeah, it's, it's a it, setup. It, no know, one deserves glory except for God. I say that all, I've yeah. been saying that for many years. I go, don't 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 take the glory which belongs to the Lord. Right. Okay. And the thing is, you know, I tell people all the time about this Christian industry, this music yeah. industry, that people are so sucked in by. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they, they, it's a trap because think about it. Music is powerful. It is. I mean, I'm not belittling the power of music. You just got to be careful who you follow and who you allow into your ear gates. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If it, It's not about the artist or the stardom or the success. I mean, look at these artists such as Michael Jackson, mm. such as Prince, mm. such as Whitney Houston. Luther Vandross. They were set up on high. Mm -hmm the most famous in, the, in world, the world, okay? But they were set up to die. so that they could be taken down yeah. probably for their money, their publishing, yeah. their record sales. Yeah, people don't their, know this. I mean, yeah. people don't know how wicked the music industry really, really is. So, I mean, they were set up on high to... <laughs> Here you go. This is Sony Music because we were part of Sony... Mm. Okay, we were part of that demonic world that we walked away from. And I told a guy, a, a guy last night, I said, I'll, I'd rather walk with you for the rest of my life than to be partnering with these wolves. And by the way, we every was it every quarter? We get a check for a dollar or a dollar 49. Really? I mean, it's yeah, almost like yeah. a joke yeah, because it's yeah. like they, they, they know who we are. But you know what? God knows who you are, Sony. Right. And let me tell you something. Right. It's coming your way. <laughs> Sony means little son. Yeah. 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 Son of and, you Lucifer. Know, <laughs> you know, because people look, oh, they were, they're, they're not part of the industry. We were part of it. Okay? And it's it, we had to repent yeah. from it. Otherwise, wow, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, do not idolize anyone. That's right. Lift Jesus Christ. Lift up the Father. Okay, yeah. you know, say God the God the Father, Father God, we lift you up, we praise you, not man. Man will let you down. Yeah, that's right. So it's very, guys. We have to get our self esteem from God. Mm. Okay, we have mm. to let God our self worth, our self -worth from yeah. God. That yeah. is incredibly important. Proverbs twenty seven five and six mm. says, "Open rebuke is better than secret love." Faithful wow. are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Kisses. Yeah, I'd rather get truth from a friend than kisses from the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And I know who the enemy is. Yeah. 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 That's right. That? Because the kisses of the enemy are deceitful, like mm. what Judas did to Jesus, betrayed him with a kiss. Yeah. And God saw everything that Jezebel did against Naboth. Mm. And boy, God set a plan. God oh made a, such an oh elaborate boy. plan yep. to take her down, <laughs> to destroy her. I think it was like something like, if uh, if this one doesn't kill her, this one's going to kill her. Oh, yeah. If that one doesn't kill her, this one's going to this one's going to kill oh, yeah. her. But Jezebel was going to be destroyed. Amen. I mean, that was part of God's plan. And let me tell you, those plans of God, no one can come against. Yeah. No, nope, absolutely not. Yes, yes. Wow. Hallelujah. So number four, and we pretty much, we kind of said this last week, but I want to say this again because this is incredibly, incredibly important. And guys, if anybody has something to add to this Jezebel doctrine, mm. this teaching that we mm. need to beware of, mm. please comment below. Absolutely. And, and we, need, we need to help each other in yeah. this because this is out to get God's people. You know, and I want to share this because we are definitely suppressed in, in, on social media. But it takes y your effort sometimes to just like and, to, and, and subscribe and to give people, let people know that the truth is being told. That lies are being exposed. exposed. That we are here to, to not partake in 
unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. them. So yeah. that's what we as Christians are called to do. And you know what? And you can help us and help the word get out there to millions of people. It's up to you to help us. So number four, mm. Jezebel doctrine. Mm. Jezebel puts on a Christian facade, mm. but in secret practices the occult. How do we know this? Revelation 2.20, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. This is Jesus speaking to God's people of the church. Mm. I have a few. Guys, you don't want to have, you don't want God to have a few things against you or even one thing against anything you, against okay, you. or anything against you, because, and Jesus says why, because thou sufferest mm. that woman Jezebel. Correct. You put up with this. You allow her. You don't restrain her. Thou sufferest <clears throat> that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, <sighs> okay, to <laughs> teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, to eat sacrifice, eat things sacrificed unto idols. So Jezebel wow. puts on the disguise of a prophetess. And this mm. is exactly the same way she does it today. Okay. Oh. She puts on the disguise of a Christian. She puts on the disguise of a pastor. She puts on the disguise of an apostle. She puts on the disguise mm. of a, of mm. a, of a Christian brother. She puts on the disguise. A, a why? A Christian now singer. Why? A worshiper. Why, a, right, a Christian singer. Uh, I mean, just puts on the Christian disguise. Why is this? Specifically, the purpose of this is to lead Christians away from the faith. Amen. That's exactly correct. That is the specific That's purpose. Her job. to teach and to seduce my servants to go against Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to go against God, to lead them into sin, that their lives would be become cursed. Yeah. Because the prophets, uh, what is that? I think it was Balaam, couldn't curse the children of <laughs> God. But he consulted with King uh, Balak, Balak right. and showed him, okay, I can't curse these people. They're blessed, but if we lead them into sin, oh yeah, then they come under the curse. So that is yeah. Jezebel, yeah. the Jezebel doctrine. And think about it, a lot of these mega churches that you have, that you tend, okay, Jezebel's the head of it. That's right. Because you, you just go in there to hear what you, you want to hear. None of these guys are preaching the gospel, I promise you. There's no gospel being preached. Run out of these churches yeah. of Jezebel control. Walk away and read the word for yourself. Okay? Yep. Get in touch with the true believers of God. Go. You know what? Paul said, who has bewitched you? Right. Do not be bewitched. Okay? Wake up. From your slumber, from your sleep, from, from being lied to. Lied. Why do you want to hear lies? And these guys are good. I mean, their voices, are, they, they have, there's, a, there's a seduction, right? Yeah, seducing spirits. Seducing yeah. spirits. Word of faith, prosperity, oh. gospel message is seducing. Man. Catholicism is seducing, okay? These, I mean, we came out of this. Thank you. Thank you, God, Hallelujah. that we've been delivered Hallelujah. from Catholicism right. and word of faith, prosperity, gospel. Yeah. It is a seducing spirit. And these and a, people... And they're it's a doctrine of demons. Guys, what you do in secret mm. is your true religion. Mm. What you do in secret is your true religion. So Jezebel has an outward religion good, Veronica. and a covert mm. religion. Covert. Covert, okay? So, for example, here's a perfect example, and this is something that God showed us back in 2015. Many people play, at, play the role as if they are <laughs> Christians, but they are secretly oh Freemasons. Oh, oh, boy. They are secretly Freemasons. And there's other, there's other, other organizations. There's 
Wicca, there's uh, the Satanic Temple. I mean, I've heard about this. I met, uh, I spoke to a woman. She has a powerful ministry. It's called Only God Rescued Me. Wow. And her father was sent in to churches wow. to destroy them. Wow. And he was a Freemason. Yeah. He was sent in. He was sent in. I mean, years upon years, he planned to take to take this pastor down, to take down these people. You know what happened? Hmm. Her, his daughter got saved. Hallelujah. His daughter got <laughs> saved, and she has a ministry today. Hallelujah. She has a ministry today. That's right. Um, and you know what? What the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good. So her father was, was supposed to go in. Her parents, who upstanding citizens, but secretly they were Freemasons and they were sent into the Christian church to destroy the faith. Yeah, and if you want to talk about Franklin, Tennessee, it is run and owned by the Freemasons. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's why the publishing and the music industry and the yeah. in the in the in the historical downtown Franklin that everybody praises that's so beautiful. There's an obelisk right in the middle. When you come right into downtown Franklin, they let you know who they are. There's there's Masonic signs that take you to the Masonic Temple, right. but you can't go in. But you can, they'll show you where it is. You can see the outside of it, right. but the inside is rotten. Yes. Just what Jesus said. Perfect. Yes. Amen. Amen. So guys, men and women of these Jezebel doctrine are in your church mm. right now. Okay. Teaching not every, not every, not every church, right. but in many, many churches right now, teaching and seducing God's people, mm. leading them into sin. Yeah. Okay. So we have allowed this. Okay. This is the problem. Yeah, we've allowed this to is play that out. Good, nice, kind Christians let Jezebel in, and then we set her on high. See, Veronica, so we're not even supposed yeah. to tolerate this, but then we end up celebrating this. Yeah, because you didn't read the eleventh commandment: "Thou shalt be kind." Right. Thou shalt right. be nice. Right. No, but what she's doing is not kind. No. Bringing in this teaching, no. this false teaching. No in order to lead people into sin and you. get them under a curse. Uh -huh. That is the plan. That's right. That is the plan. So guys, you can either learn the true doctrine mm. of the Lord Jesus Christ of in the Bible, of the Bible, the That's Lord right. Jesus Christ of the Bible, or you will be indoctrinated by Jezebel. I mean, it's That's right. everywhere you everywhere. go. It's everywhere you go, yeah, this go to, indoctrination. You know, one of, one of the key things that, that people don't really don't talk about is, like I was talking to this guy, he was excited that he found a new church. I said, go up to your pastor and ask him if he's a 501c3. He goes, what's that? See, these are Christians going to these big churches, right? They have no clue what that even is. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Do your homework, man. Yeah, I said, do your right. homework. In the, in the 501c3, it's important to mm. let people know yeah. why we warn people about the 501c3. And we've done messages on oh, this. Yeah. We've done a specific message. Google it. Absolutely awesome. Um, we'll, I'll link that. Um, so the 501c3 church is under a uh, restraint because they cannot preach certain things, mm -mm. okay? Certain political issues. So they, so the reason we warn people about 51C3 is that you cannot fully preach the gospel. You can't preach against LGBT, no. and you cannot preach against abortion. So you cannot preach against sin. So therefore, you cannot fully preach and share the gospel. And how are people going to become free if you can't share the truth? Right. And, and, and see, people get so offended when you, when you speak the truth, I love yeah. what Paul said. He said, are we now your enemy? Because mm -hmm. we tell you the truth. Okay, what's the truth? Not Angelo, not Veronica. Jesus is the truth. His word is the truth. He is the truth, the life, and the way. And nobody gets to the Father but through him. I'm telling you guys, Amen. we need to know this. That's right. We do. So Mark 4.22, I just want to 
share this one last scripture, Mark 4, 22, mm. for there is nothing hid, oh, which man. shall not be, which will not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret that should not come abroad. Wow. Okay. So there's no secrets in God's kingdom and everyone who keeps secrets. Mm. Oh man, it's going to be broadcast to the whole world. Oh yeah. This is why Jesus said, repent <laughs> and believe the gospel. Repent. Confess repent? of confess your sins. Go to the police. Do whatever you have to do. Right. But confess right here and right now. It is better to be judged right here, it's right now, late. than to be judged be on late. judgment day before the Lord. Yeah, because you know what the Lord will say? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. But I gave money to this ministry, and I, and I did these great things, and, 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 I, and I, I was kind, and I was nice. I never knew you. Because you didn't obey the word of the Lord. God right. gives us mandates, and he gives us specific doctrine, if you will, yeah. that pertain to our sin that we can't be living in. We've got to get out of it, and the only way out of it is what Jesus did on the cross. That's right. Yeah. Father God, we just thank you, God, Hallelujah. for this day that you have made. Yes, God. And Lord, thank you for showing this to us about this Jezebel mm -hmm. teaching this doctrine. That's right. And you know what? We thank you, God, that it is pulled down and it is, it is exposed right now today Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. This cannot come against us anymore. We That's will right. not be indoctrinated That's right. by this, by this false doctrine of Jezebel. We come against yeah. it. We expose it. Yeah. We don't allow it. Right now, we come against we it in the name of, the name Jesus, of Jesus Christ. Broken. And we thank you, God, for the true doctrine of the word of God, hmm. which is Jesus Christ died Hallelujah. for our sins, was buried, and rose again on Hallelujah. the third day. Oh, God, we confess our sins. Hmm. And, and we thank you, God. We receive the blood of Jesus that washes away our sins. Yes, and we receive eternal life. In Jesus' name, In Jesus amen. Name. We love you. Bless you.